there have been increasing speculations on the possibility of a third wave of coronavirus COVID-19 in India. In fact, experts around the world, including top scientists from the Indian Council of Medical Research, that is ICMR, and the World Health Organization, that is WHO, have reiterated that the onset of the third wave has begun. Reports indicate that the third wave is likely to hit India by the end of August, although it may not be as intense as the second wave. ICMR in a study quoted the possibility of a third wave of COVID-19 in India. A mathematical modeling-based analysis has elaborated reasons that it could possibly lead to the third wave in the country. Well, let's understand WHO's say on COVID-19 third wave. So as per the WHO chief Tedros has also warned the world that the third wave was in its early stage driven by the Delta variant of the virus. Furthermore, the chief added, we expect it to soon be the dominant COVID-19 strain circulating worldwide if it isn't already. So now, what would be the impact of Delta variant in India? So a second wave of COVID-19 in India was led by the surge in Delta variant cases. There are doubts arising as to how a third wave could be triggered by the same variant. So as per reports, ICMR believes that no more public health havoc can be caused from the said weight. Although the Indian Council of Medical Research has given multiple reports on the third wave of COVID-19. So as per media reports and aforementioned ICMR study, the third wave in India could be triggered by multiple factors, with the first being drop in the acquired immunity from the first and second wave. While another reason for the new wave could possibly be an emergence of a variant that bypasses the immunity acquired from the previous variants. While additionally, higher transmissibility from a new variant could be a major driving factor that could lead the country into a third wave of the pandemic. Apart from these reasons, reasons including lower caution by states and premature easing of restrictions could also lead to a surge in the number of cases in the country. While the top doctor's body in the country, which is the Indian Medical Association, also known as the IMA, has also emphasized that the third wave is inevitable and imminent. Therefore, all individuals and institutions should follow appropriate COVID-19 protocols. Follow social distancing, wear your mask and do not step out unnecessarily. While for more information on COVID-19, do log into our websites and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.